welcome back today is another day welcome back to my channel if you are new here and you enjoy the vibes be sure to like comment and subscribe now below also check me out on instagram as well at lorenzo underscore love underscore underscore if you want to see some more kind of content or different kind of content on there versus what i post here by the way just got in town then i won't let you me this cloud it's all in the sky all right, y'all, I'm back. And I'm just gonna prepare this chicken for dinner right now. Well, not dinner, because I have dinner for tonight. Some I have leftovers. But I will cook this tomorrow, let this marinate overnight. So that way, I have something to eat for tomorrow. Because I told myself that I'm going to work on not eating out as much because I gotta slow down. And I feel like I've gained so much weight over these past six, seven months. So we gotta get this body back. Cause summer is coming up and you know me, I like to be in my little mesh tops, my little, you know, see-through see -through clothes. So if my body is not body in the way I need it to, I can't win under that, right? So yeah. We're gonna get this body back. We're gonna snap it back. We gotta snap it back for sure because I feel like this is the biggest I've been ever. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I've been making this. I've been like almost. I've been a solid 200 pounds before, but I also am 6'1, so it's, it looks like I'm not that big because of the height, but baby sits right here. When this shirt come off, it's definitely giving dad bods. And you don't really like dad bods these days. However, not me. I mean, I do like them, but I don't like it on me. <laughs> I don't like it on me. I don't want it on me. No, no. It, it can go. It can definitely go because yeah. Where is the jerk? So I think I'm gonna make jerk barbecue chicken. Of course, it's not traditional jerk chicken because I'm not Jamaican. Is this my version of it? So, and I'm putting it in the oven too, so it's gonna be pretty good. I don't like a lot because this is very spicy. So I just do like two spoons and that's a wrap. And I'm gonna mix that up. That's gonna be it. So pretty much today my day consisted of like it was more so chill today. I will say yesterday was very busy. I didn't. I had a late start. I just really wanted to chill, like relax and like clean and do what I needed to do for my apartment. Like I got a lot done. As you can say, a big bag of trash behind me that I have to take out. So I'm gonna take that out when I take Miss Kelly girl out for her um nightly walk. But Yesterday pretty much was like errands, like I said previously, errands, went to like at home, Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, Target, way on the east side of Orlando, like not even in my area, like I was just on the run. I had a vision that I wanted to do and I, I said, you know what, let me complete this before the day is over and I did that. So the bathroom is done, my room partially done. Um, I think with that I have to... Well, I need a dresser for sure. I need a dresser and I have to get like some artwork to put in there because it's like, I just, I'm gonna show y'all what I did in a minute, but I just kind of like feel what works for me. Like I changed all my bedding. Like I had the same comforter for like three, four years now. I was like, you know what? They gotta go. It's time to elevate. So I got new comforter. Like I bought new sheets throughout the years, but I always liked that, that comforter because my grandmother liked it, you know? So she had something similar to that as me growing up as a kid. So that's where I really wanted to like keep that theme. So I was like, you know what? It's time for me to, to grow up and change my comforter. So I got something completely different. Um, solid white. I feel like you can't go wrong with white. Got some new sheets to match like the whole theme of the bedroom, which is like blue, white, 
and goldish type vibe that I have going on right now. So I'll give y'all a quick little sneak peek of what I'm doing because it's still under construction right now. But I say come back within the next 30 days. 30? Is it 30? I'm saying 30 to 60 days <laughs> because home goods and stuff is not cheap. Like buying like pictures, tables, chest, parts, all of that shit is not cheap. So I really had to like budget myself. And I told my, I gave myself an allowance. I said, you know what? I'm going to allow you to spend $400. $400 to do what you need to do. And I spent about that, maybe a little less, but I feel like for what I what I got, I, you know, it was worth it. So I'm kind of content. I love my bathroom. I feel like it's giving a vibe. I just hate the lighting in there. Cause you know me, I like to take pictures and I like to make sure the lighting is lighting, but it's not really giving what I needed to give. So I think what I'm gonna do is order some lights, additional lights to put in there to make it a little bit more like, vibey if that makes sense like for us to like because i need the angles to hit like in my old bathroom the, the i love the lighting in there it was perfect because it was like a strip light and it was like neon and it was like super super bright so it gave what it needed to give but it's okay i have more space so you know i can't have everything you know so i'm humble i have more space so much space i don't know what to do with it i'm just like oh my god i gotta fill this corner i gotta fill that corner so that's what i'm kind of working on now like filling space right now um, with what I have and buying new things that I need. I'm still kind of thinking or debating if I want to keep my desk in the living area, living room area, or if I want to convert it to my room. I feel like if I take it out of my living room, that'll give me additional space to do whatever I want to do with it. And I'm kind of just looking at it right now. I'm just like the desk that stands out. Maybe if I get a nicer desk, it'll look different. But I just got a generic desk from Ikea, so it's just giving real much plain. So I'm thinking maybe if I upgrade it and make it fit in with the theme, it'll be good. But I really just want to move it out of the desk, period. Because what? And I broke my neon light, y'all. Like, I was cutting some wires. I was cutting my grass walls. Like, I didn't want to do the typical behind the couch again. I said, let me do something completely different. So this time I put it on like, a wall, like I don't know what people call it, the accent wall is. Yes. So I put on the accent wall, and as I was cutting the grass, I cut the damn wire for the grass wall sign. So now I have to order another one of those, but I want to get a custom one. I don't want it to say goodbye. I want it to say something else, maybe more custom to you know me, and you know what I have going on for like content and things like that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go from here. But overall, pretty chill weekend. I don't, I really didn't do much. Like I told you, I don't really go out. I do like I used to. I told myself I wanted to focus more. It's me running the water and trying to talk. I feel like I wanted to focus. I told you I want to focus more on content, right? So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Even though I got a little delayed, not delayed, but like more so like diverted because of the move and I really is just tired and I'm really just now getting my energy back now. To but outside of that, everything has been pretty good. I really haven't had any complaints about the new place to get. Now I will say this, because I'm very transparent. Very transparent when it comes to my living situation, right? The property that I'm at now, it's nice. It's very nice. Very, very nice. However, it's not giving what my other apartment gave as far as luxury amenities. It's still a luxury apartment community. However, it's not. That property was built maybe a year or two after this one. So this one's a little older. Now, mind you, that property, I think, opened in 2020. This one, I think, opened in 2019. 2018, 2019. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what it's giving but I just love like the pool of my other one. This one has a nice pool too. This one has multiple like multiple things, you know? Okay, I haven't been trying to say we're recording. So this one has multiple like areas for you. It's not just one main area. It's like multiple throughout the community. With my old apartment, we just had like a pool area and then the clubhouse and the gym all in one. But this one not so much. It's more so boom, 
We got Jim here. We got pool here. We got another part of the property in the bag that you can like chill out. It's like multiple properties, which is what I like. So I really enjoyed that part of it because I'm like, okay, it's not just one generic location where you can sit down. It's like multiple locations, which like I said, I really like. That's so good. So I'm just like, okay, period. I gotta cut some onions up, but I'll do that off camera because, like, I'm talking too much. Well, too busy talking. But yeah, put this in here, let that kind of marinate. I'll cut my onions and peppers up. Cut my onions and peppers up tonight before I go to bed. Put that in there, let that marinate. So it'll be good and seasoned by tomorrow. So then tomorrow, once I get off work or when I'm working, on my lunch, I can just go ahead and throw those bad boys in either the air fryer or the oven, which I think I should because I feel like the air fryer be 20 minutes. It's a wrap. It's done. Finished. Complete. Crispy. Just like it's out the oven. But I feel like when it's in the oven, it gives it like that baked oven vibe. If that makes sense. But overall, been a pretty good move. I'm excited about the place for sure. Like I am really excited because listen, let me just tell you this. This so I've been living on my own since 2016. As you guys know, me and Brian used to be roommates. So once we stopped being roommates, because he moved to Miami and I ended up moving to Atlanta. That was short-lived. <laughs> That's another story. So once he ended up moving to Miami, I ended up moving to Atlanta, but I ended up moving right back to Orlando because mm -mm, I wasn't feeling it. I just was not feeling it at the time. So I ended up coming back. I came back home to Orlando and I got my first place by myself, which is 2016, April 2016 to be exact. So I ended up moving to my first apartment. Loved it. But uh, it was like dated, really, 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 really dated. And I was just like, mm, mm mm. So I did like a 13 month lease there and then I immediately moved out. Like, yeah, I gotta be time, find something else. So then I moved a little bit closer to where I work, maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from where I work. So I ended up moving there and then I ended up um, staying there for like three years. But that was a townhouse loft. So I didn't have a room. I had a room, but you know how lofts are. It was a loft, so I had a top, but no doors. But it was huge up there. Like, when I say it was huge, it was so damn big. And I was there for like three years, almost four. Yeah, almost four. Cause I think I moved in like 2021. Yeah, 2021 when I moved. So I ended up moving to my old apartment in 2021. I got a two bedroom apartment. I didn't have someone I was living with at the time. Unfortunately, things did not work out between us. So we ended up splitting ways. Um, so I ended up transferring from a two to to a studio because that's all that they had within range that I could afford at the time. So I was like, let me transfer to the studio, please. So transfer to the studio, lived there for, it would have been two years this month on the fourth of March. It would have been two years on the fourth of March. But I ended up moving out on the first. So a little bit a couple days shy of two years, but I'm gonna say two years because I was close enough. But yeah, I ended up living there. I loved it. I just needed more space. Like I loved the property. Like I loved that property. It was probably the best property ever. The pool, even though I didn't really use amenities like that. But I really went to the pool. I really, really went to the gym, but it was there. This place has a nice gym too though. Um, but it was just a pool vibe. It gave me like resort, you know? Really gave resort, which I loved. But overall, I would move back there, but I just feel like they were, what I was paying, I could have got way more for my money, which I did. I actually ended up getting a bigger space and ended up still paying less money than what I was paying over there. So by like four hundred dollars less yeah by four like uh, yeah like 350 350 like 350 left don't want to pay now so i'm content i know i'm going to be here for a year i don't think this will be 
a place I would want to stay long term, even if I have to renew in Orlando for it again. I don't think I would want to stay here just because I feel like this is more for the like the younger kids who are just now moving out or just not moving out and they want to feel a luxury. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So I feel like where I was at was a little bit more quieter. I feel like here it's a lot of kids, like a lot of like young kids, influencers, content creators. I've seen them in the park a lot. I've seen them at the pool. I see them like all over the places doing their big ones. And I support that fully. However, don't be yelling at two o'clock in the morning down the hallways. I don't have time for that. I'm trying to rest. I'm trying to, I'm trying to lay my head for work because I don't got to wake up and go to work. So I told myself if I don't move out of state, which I hopefully, hopefully I do move out of state because that's the goal, it will be a blessing. But I would definitely want to move somewhere else. I don't know where. We'll see. But all right, guys, I'm actually about to take Miss Kelly Girl out for a little, her last little walk for the night. And your boy's going to chill out because I'm tired. It's been... A busy weekend. Even though I didn't do any partying, like turn up, or nothing like that. I should, it's just I'm tired, so I'm gonna rest up. I'm gonna, you know, chill out, eat dinner a little later, um, and I will catch back up with y'all. What's up, y'all? I am back with another. It's a new day, <laughs> not another episode, but a new day. Um, I'm just out here at the park with my baby girl right now. We are doing a little doggy date. Look at her. Cam. Come here. Hey, say hello to the people. They want to say hey. Say hello, mama. Say you like it. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Okay, so I'm just having a little one on one with my baby girl. I feel like I don't take her to the dog park enough. So we're going to work on that in 2024. And there are a number of things I want to work on. That's one of them too. It's giving her her space and her time and joy outside too. You know? So that's pretty much what we're doing. I'm at the dog park right now. With her. And we're just chilling and hanging out at the moment. I'm going to go home. And have dinner. Cook shower chill out i need to work on editing because it's like the second to last it's the third week of march right and i have not edited anything and how i'm sitting on all of this content that i need to to release but i just been lazy because with the move and like with everything else it kind of just like really had me like exhausted i'm not even gonna hold you super tired super like Super, super, super tired. But you know, I'm bouncing back. And yeah, content coming soon. Videos coming soon. Because I know y'all waiting. And it's coming. It's on the way. Be patient. Bear with me, like Tiana Taylor said, right? But all right, guys. So I'm going to play with her for a little bit. And I will be back a little later to check in. So I'm back here walking on this like pathway and it's kind of creepy. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's just a pathway. And she loves it. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out where does it go? And is somebody gonna jump out and come get me? Hey Alexa, turn on. What's up guys? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's been a few days, I ain't even gonna hold you. It has been a few days since I vlogged. I told you I'm terrible at this, I'm the worst, but I'm gonna get it. That's the main thing. I am gonna get it down pat to a science where it's consistent, 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 consistent. Because right now it's very nice. It's inconsistent as fuck. Who am I to breath? Because I, for one, been rushing. 
Two, trying to get dressed and find something that I actually want to wear and be comfortable in and not be hot because I'm going to the Orlando Music Fest today. So basically, the Orlando Music Fest sum it up is like a number of artists they have a set time and they come on the stage to perform like their hits and then they hit it, period. So I think Trina is going to be there. I want to say Trina, Tank, Plies. It's a whole bunch of different artists, you know, that I grew up on. So of course I want to see them. So I got a last minute invite from Shay, which is my best friend, as you guys know. Um, got a last minute invite from her saying she had a ticket available and if I wanted to go. So I'm going to say, hell yeah, of course, <laughs> if it's free, it's me, period. So in the process of doing all of that, I'm actually trying to make me a quick little cocktail um, using the Patrona, baby, the Patron. So I'm using some Patron and a little bit of juice so I can kind of get like a quick little pregame in. Have y'all had tequila and, and apple juice? I don't know how that tastes. Let's try it. Let's try it. So I'm gonna do a little one two with that and I actually have to head out because I'm supposed to meet Day Day because like I said, it's free, right? But parking ain't free. Parking like $40, $50 for this, for this event. So I'm not being that. So I'm like, let me ride with you. I'll just meet you and park my car somewhere. And we go from there. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm actually rushing to meet him so I can get everything squared away when it comes to like making sure I'm in there. And he also has my ticket, so. I really gotta meet him for sure. But yeah, guys, I'm actually quick. I'm getting ready to do this, drink this. I am gonna try to get some footage because like I said, it is Music Fest, but you know, YouTube got these regulations, child. You cannot post certain music or you will get like a violation or something like that. So I'm gonna say cheers to that and I will catch you guys later. Peace. What's up guys? Today is probably two days after the Sunday fun day that I had. Um I just need a time to recuperate. I didn't get like drunk or anything, but I was tired. I haven't been out in a minute, so seeing Alec and Brian was good. We just all chilled and hung out and had a good time. But as you can see I'm back outside again with Callie giving her a little walk, trying to get some cardio in. Another one of my goals was, I said I was going to lose 
at least 10 pounds before June. So we're on our way. I did an hour of cardio in the gym and now I'm just waiting for the weight to come off at this point. So yeah, but I'm out here walking her, trying to get a little cardio for her and me in. And I'm out of breath because I was running. But that's what we gonna do. Just wanna check in because I haven't been consistent and I know I haven't been consistent. So I'm working on it, okay? Bear with me. All right, guys. I am finally in the bed now after like a long day of just like work I'm gonna be doing a little editing for the channel to get some content out for you guys but yeah i am about to finally call it a night here this is probably gonna be a wrap of this vlog um what i do think i'll do is maybe release a mini vlog sometime during the week if I have enough content to do it, I will do that. But as always, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, if you enjoy the vibes, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Lorenzo underscore love underscore underscore. All right, my loves. Peace and love. Good night. You want to touch it